Bob Mandelbrot has become synonymous with one of science's most intriguing areas of research, fractal theory. Fractal theory sought to establish patterns in what was previously considered chaos in biology, geology, and other natural phenomena. Fractal theory represents such an unusual synthesis of multiple disciplines that it is only through the study of Mandelbrot's life that we can come to understand how he arrived at this unique paradigm shift. Benoit Mandelbrot was born in Poland to a Jewish family of Lithuanian origin on November 20th, 1924. Mandelbrot describes his father as a very scholarly person and the descendant of long lines of scholars. Unfortunately, many members of his family were starving scholars, and his father saw virtues in a good, steady job. Thus, his father made his living manufacturing clothing while his mother was a physician. She lived in constant fear of epidemics, yet another phenomenon that heavily influenced Mandelbrot's fascination with chaos. His uncle Loderman tutored him, helping him master maps, chess, and reading. In 1936, as Nazi persecution was on the rise, the Mandelbrot family decided to take refuge in France. At the time, Mandelbrot's uncle, Sholem Mandelbrot, was a professor of mathematics at the College de France. Sholem took responsibility for Mandelbrot's education. Sholem, a follower of the mathematician Godfrey Harold Hardy, strongly believed in Hardy's philosophy of pure, conventional mathematics. This engendered a powerful reaction from Mandelbrot. He resisted his uncle's attempts to steer him in the direction of conventional mathematics, and was much more fascinated with geometry. Before World War II, Mandelbrot attended a secondary school in Paris called Lycée Roland. He didn't only study books, he studied nature. Mandelbrot conducted years of conversations with geologists, biologists, and numerous scientists while he was building his theory. He realized that, in nature, very few geometric figures are simple the planets, the iris, the pupil, and the list goes on. In fact, he proposed that With two hands, you can count all the simple shapes of nature. Everything else is rough. But if you look around us, almost everything industrial is very smooth, round, flat, corrugated, and so on. Mandelbrot used the work of other mathematicians as well as his own postulations and coined the term fractal, denoting a curve or geometric figure in which similar patterns recur at progressively smaller scales. Fractals are geometric figures similar to rectangles, squares, and circles, but they have very special properties that make them unique in the wonderful world of mathematics. Fractals are virtually self-similar. They may not exhibit the same exact structure on all scales, but they need to follow the basic type of structure on all scales. Fractals found in nature include coastlines, snowflakes, clouds, certain vegetables, including broccoli and cauliflower, and fur patterns in animals. Moreover, fractals cannot be easily described in Euclidean geometry, given their exceedingly irregular characteristics. Mandelbrot used the concept of fractals in the field of cosmology and postulated that if the stars were fractally distributed, there would be no reason to rely on the Big Bang Theory. After he wed Aliette Kagan in France, Mandelbrot and his wife emigrated to the United States. In New York, Mandelbrot joined the research staff at the IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center. At IBM, Mandelbrot did something mathematician Julia Gaston could never do use a computer to run equations millions of times. He then turned the numbers from his Julia sets, which are infinite fractal sets, into points on a graph. Mandelbrot mentioned that his first step was to just draw mindlessly a large number of Julia sets, not one picture, but hundreds of pictures. By 1980, Mandelbrot had created his own equation with a unique set of numbers. When graphed on the computer, he realized that this was a guide to all of the Julia sets. This new set, the Mandelbrot set, rapidly became the emblem of fractal geometry. Mandelbrot published his groundbreaking book, The Fractal Geometry of Nature, in 1982. 
This compelling work made a strong case for the non-random structure of fractals and brought fractals into the mathematical mainstream. Mandelbrot has had a significant impact on extremely varied disciplines, such as fashion and cinematography. Mesmerizing images of fractals have become a fad in popular culture, and types of fractal design programs have entirely reshaped the visual potential of the world as we see it. Mandelbrot described, And friends of mine who are mountain climbers tell me they see mountains differently now than before. They see an orderliness to mountains, piles upon piles of pyramids that before they did not see. The sort of chaos that Mandelbrot had to live through was something that would be hard to live through in our times since very few of us had to endure such dislocations. This chaos in Mandelbrot's life provoked a unique manner of thinking. With the influx of historical events over which no one had any control, he devoted himself to the phenomena in life that may lie in different organized sciences, but have common aspects all the same.